Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I am a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out and seeing art exhibitions, or sharing art supplies with you, which is what I hope to do today. So I had planned to just show my travel art supplies that I already have, but as I was going through it, I realized that I was missing a few things, probably ran out or lost in the move shuffle. So I thought I would uh, take a trip to Michael's or Blick and see what I could find. I'll be in the area where Michael's is because I have to do some grocery shopping, go to Petco, post office, and Michael's is over there. But if I don't find what I need, I'm gonna head over to Blick. So who knows where I'll end up today. But after all of that, I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna show you the supplies that I use when I'm traveling and hopefully some new stuff as well that I find today. So let's go. So the two things I was looking for in Michael's, one they didn't have in store, and then the other, it's actually cheaper on Amazon. So since I was placing an order for uh, the one thing I wanted, I just also ordered the other thing and they're both coming tomorrow. So I will see you guys then, bye. And I'm back, it's the next day. Packages have arrived. So I'm gonna unbox them and let's go through the art supplies. Hey, these up. good. That's crazy I got that for cheaper. Having it shipped as opposed to just getting it in the store. But whatever. Yay! My little travel case. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Now I am going to go get the rest of the supplies I typically use and share that. So this is stuff that I typically bring with me, um, plus the two new things that I bought. So really quick, this is my watercolor set. I used to bring it with me, but this is why I went and got the smaller one because I found that I would just leave this in the hotel or the Airbnb wherever I was staying as opposed to like traveling around with it while I was out during the day. Um, this is the case that I just bought. So I want to try and condense the two ones that I have right now into here. So we'll take a look at that. Um, 
do watercolors, just talked about that. This is also the colored pencils I just got, which I think will fit in here as well. Um, my old pencil cases. This one's kind of cute. A friend got me it because I don't even know what's in here, but whoop, there you go. See, it stands up on its own. Isn't that cute? And then this is like a coach one that I've used for just ever. I know that sounds fancy, but I used to work for coach, so employee discount. Anyway, um, some washi tape in case I want to stick anything in my sketchbook. I don't really typically do that. Actually, what I tend to do, for instance, like here's one of my sketchbooks that I've used while traveling. Um, as I usually get one with a pocket and then I stick stuff in there. And then, yeah, just different size sketchbooks. I'll usually pick one size to bring with me. Um, but yeah, let's take a closer look at these things. So in general, I pick one of three sizes. Um, this is actually probably my favorite size to travel with because it's nice and thin. Um, and as I mentioned, I like the pocket in case I want to put tickets and stuff. And then, yeah, this is just an example of what I'll do while I'm on vacation. I really recommend bringing a sketchbook with you. Um, to sort of document your experience. Obviously, I don't draw from life, but I might see, you know, colors or I might have some emotions and this is sort of my way of documenting that. See, like for instance, I remember this one I did in a flower field in Japan. And you can see I'm not too precious with it. You can see there's like watermarks and things like that. Like it doesn't really matter. Oh, I remember this one too. I was on Naoshima Art Island. So yeah, memory's already coming back. What was funny about this trip also was when I first started out, I had only brought um, red, blue, and black micron pens because I um, was trying to edit myself since my pencil case, I had to limit myself to fit into that size. Um, but then I did six weeks of traveling around Japan and then I got to a point when I went to Korea that I was like, okay, I need more colors. And so I ended up buying like a set of um, colors from a stationery store there. Or I think I got it maybe in Japan right before leaving, but you can see blue and green, pink on that other page start to get added. That's another thing too, in my sketchbooks, I don't even go in order, like these are all mixed up. Oh, there you go, see, you can see I bought, um, yeah, new colors. And was able to incorporate that. Anyway, um, here's a smaller moleskin notebook. This was Thailand, I believe. So yeah, things are pretty colorful. Anyway, get the idea there. And then there's this wider format, which I think I took with me maybe when I went to Scotland. Um, looks like there's some mixed media here, maybe too, some pastels, but I just like to fill a page. I also like this format and the paper in this one is, um, like a mixed media paper. So it holds things. The other one's just like a thinner, regular sketchbook paper. I'll try and leave links to everything below so you guys can see exactly which ones I used, but yeah really nice but it's a bit on the thicker side so maybe I would take it on a trip that I'm not walking around every day. But those are the three sketchbooks that I bring with me. All right moving on. So this is the watercolor set I would typically bring with me when I was traveling. As you can see it's rather large um, and well used but I would bring it and leave it in the hotel room or the Airbnb because um, it's a bit heavy to carry around every day. So this is the smaller version of it that I bought. Um, let's take a look, let's open it. So same style, but significantly smaller as you can see. And let's open it up and take a look. There we go. There they are. Oh, and it comes with a little brush. And then I think this little palette extender if you want it. 
And then I think I saw something maybe in the sides. Let me take a look. Ah, it's not the sides, it's the front. There we go. So that comes off actually. And so can this. So that's kind of what it looks like compared to this one. These ones all come out. They're about this size versus this size. So pretty good. That would work for me. I don't use that much watercolor. So yeah, very good. I'm excited for my next trip so I can use that. All right, I'm gonna put this away and we'll see what's next. Here's a set of colored pencils. I'd show this in one of my art hauls, but I was just thinking about it and I'm like, I think this might look good in my new case. So we'll take a look at that once I do the packing. Really simple, some washi tape in case you have anything you want to put in there, like tickets and stuff. It's good to just have on hand. And then my pencil cases. So this is sort of my tried and true that I tend to travel with. You can see it's already packed. Um, but yeah, it's just a Coach leather pencil case. I used to work for Coach, as I said, so that's why I have that guy. And then this one, which is cute because it stands up. And I don't even know half of what is in these cases. So let's open them and take a look. Let's go through it and take a look at some of the things I have and we can take an even closer look when I'm organizing my new case. But first off, I see these. So here's some watercolor brushes. These are great because you can fill it with water as you can see here. But when you're about to get on the airplane, you leave it empty and then when you're on, you just fill it up. And I have a few with different nibs. Um, some thin, some thicker, but I'm really, into these guys and it gives you a bit more control with the watercolor I feel. Here's the colorful pens I was talking about that ended up picking up in Japan before going to Korea on that trip because I got so sick of just working in the um, blue, red, and black palette. But yeah, you can see they're made in Japan play color two. Your favorite colors whenever you want. And it's double ended so you have like a smaller nib here, a thicker nib here, and yeah they're they're probably not light fast is my guess but it's great for sketchbooking. Of course I have sharpies just because you never know when you will need one of those. A bigger brush pen Think just in black once again double-ended so you get different sizes i have a few posca in here looks like gold gray black and blue not specific why i picked these ones but hey that's just what i happened to have the last time i traveled i have a charcoal white pencil so you can see it's broken um but I guess that's in case I want to go over something. And I also have a regular pencil, a 9B graphic. Here's another little, little pencil. It's cute. I have a ballpoint in case I feel like if you ever have to sign those sheets and you have to have something go through, it's good to have on hand. A Psy pen. Once again, this isn't light fast, but it's fun to work with in a sketchbook. It's like a traditional Japanese calligraphy pen. But I like working with it. Another brush pen. This one you squeeze in the ink. Let me see if I can get any to come through. There it goes. And it'll pump it through to the nib. So you can see there, I'm squeezing. I like it because it gives you a good amount of control with the flow of it. Just another random pen in blue, just a paper mate, nothing special. Another brush pen, a Tombow. 
double-ended so you have the brush side and the thinner nib. I'm trying to pick out all the ones that aren't micron here because just micron style. Favorite ones to work with in a sketchbook because they're really crisp and I get those clean lines that I want and I can make tons of little marks. So yeah, I have them in a variety of sizes, but they're pretty much like, you know, 0.4 or 0.5. Out the way. And then lastly, just another regular old uniball pen, nothing special about it. Um, a Faber Hassel brush pen in gray, and then an eraser. So that's everything that was in those cases. Okay, lastly is the new case that I bought. So I was looking for one online because I've tended to just throw stuff in my bag, like, you know, bring these two and it's just in the backpack, but I thought it would be nice to have something where I can organize it a bit more. My sketchbooks could potentially fit in here. There's a little zippered area. And then what's cool about this is it's attachable. So it's like Velcro, so I can put more sections in if I want. It comes with three and then just a large back pocket. So this is organize some of my stuff and see what fits in here. Okay, this is how we ended up. Let me show you. Ta -da. So I have all my black micron pens, two black brush pens and one gray brush pen on this front. I put my little sketchbook in here. And then I put the washi tape in the zipper, but I'm sure more stuff will end up in there. And then back here I have colored micron pens, so purple, blue, a blue brush pen, and then red micron pens. And then in this piece, which is detachable, I have two Sharpies, a pencil, and the colorful markers that I'd picked up. Backside, I have all the colored pencils. Actually, just take this off to show you. And then in the back pocket, I have my watercolor, my watercolor brushes, my eraser, and some Posca markers. So that is it. And that is it for my travel supplies video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, leave me a comment below letting me know what some of your favorite travel art supplies are. I would love to hear about it. Subscribe if you wanna see more art content and I will see you in the next one. Till then, stay well and stay inspired, my friends. Bye.